welcome to Thursday's maths lesson. This time we're not looking at bar charts, we're moving on to line graphs. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit trickier. I know you're all amazing and you will be able to do it. So, we have a table here that shows how much a museum entrance fee has changed over the years. So you can see it starts off in the year 2000, it's £4.40 to get in. Then, the, then in 2003, it goes down a little bit to £4.30. Then in 2006, it goes up to £4.90. And it goes up every year till 2014. So I want you to just pause the video and think, could we show this in a bar chart? Or is it a different way we could show this? Hmm. Let's have a sip. So you can see... I've drawn my bar chart, but only just to help me. Because we're going to draw a line graph, and this is what this line is here. Okay, this is a point taken from the middle of every bar and then joined together with a line. Okay, each dot on this graph tells you the museum entrance for a particular year. The reason we use a line is because this data is continuous. It's going from 2000 all the way to 2012. It's not just somebody did this, somebody did this. It's a continuous changing thing. Okay? So, without the bars on, it looks like this. So this is a line graph. It shows us a trend or a pattern. And you can see really easily that the price of the museum entrance dips a little bit here. And then it increases, okay, really simply. So, so we can say it's been increasing, so it dips here, but from 2003 onwards, it's getting more expensive to go to that museum. <clears throat> so, we're going to look at plotting the marks on the bottom. So we've got 2000, 2003, 2006, 2000, oh, there's a pattern. What times table is that going to be? See if you can tell me. Yes, you did say three as well done. But then, then we've got 2012. But then something's wrong here. What should that number be? Hopefully you shouted 2015 at me. Okay, you've got to make sure that the, the information on the bottom, the numbers on the bottom are evenly spaced out. So, <clears throat> our guided practice. You've got a line graph here that shows the price of a cinema ticket. Okay? And it's going to ask you some questions. So here, what is the price of a cinema ticket in 1974? So you'd find 1974, go up to the line, and come across here. Now if the price is in dollars, now we're not American, so this might be a bit tricky, but what's halfway between two? And three. If it was pounds, we know that that would be halfway between two and three pounds would be 50p. So halfway between two and three dollars would be 50 cents. So it would be the same, it would be two dollars and 50 cents. Okay? So then you're working out the difference between the price here and in 2004. Then there's a mistake on the line graph. Thinking about what we just talked about, see if you can see what the mistake is on that bottom axis. Okay? Then we're going to have got three worksheet pages to do today. You're going to draw your own line graph. I'm going to show you how to plot a couple of points first. So let me change my pen so you can see it nice and clear. So, the first year is 2005 and it says £2.50. So we're going to go, so this bottom line is 50p. So we've got 50p a pound, £1.50, £2.50, £2.50. And we'll put a dot right in the middle there. Then I'm going to read the next one, it says 2007 and it's £2. So 50p a pound, £1.50, £2. Then I could get a ruler, like so, and join my lines together. 
But then I would look at the next pound, which is 2009, and find £2.50. So £2.50, I know, is here, because we've done it already. Put it in the middle of the year and join it up with my ruler. Like, so hopefully yours will be a lot neater than that. Okay, so when you've drawn your line graph, you've got some questions to answer about it. And then you've got a line graph that's been drawn for you and a few more questions. Okay? Doing really well with your maths and keep going. It's nearly half term.